This bathroom is about simple color palette and simple finishes, basically black and white. So white subway tile in the shower with a black mosaic tile floor gives its real impact. And notice here how we've actually run that subway tile out on this wall, lined it up with the window and capped it with a steel strip. A real architectural feature that now introduces us to our wallpaper, a fabulous silver shagreen. Textural and cool gives us a great backdrop. The final elevation, once again, a prefabricated vanity, floats above the floor. The mirror starts right at the vanity top, goes to the ceiling, kind of expanding our space. Flanked by the wall sconces really gives us a custom look. Very good use of space there, Eric. And you have to be careful in a bathroom because you often don't have a ton of square footage. So you have to be smart about your accessories. So if you were starting th something from scratch, you're working with a designer like yourself, there are a lot of things you can suggest that can make your bathroom look top notch. And we're really all about the details. Those were prefab vanities. We bought very inexpensive faucets. Yeah. But then when it came to the accessories, we really took our time to match the actual style of the faucet to the accessories. So okay. there was a cylindrical faucet in there so we use cylindrical bath accessories this is a toilet paper holder this mm -hmm. is a very nice one because it actually just flips up and you don't have to have any springs oh, or anything oh you don't have that boing, 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 boing when you take the toilet exactly, paper off and it goes exactly. across the room that's so awesome so then if you're using the cylinder we do the hooks in the cylinder so that you're matching your theme throughout so the okay. towel bar that matches that has so see, that same tubular look yeah. Whereas if you bought a very square faucet, you might want to go to something way more angular like this. So it has a square plate on the back that matches your handle. Right. Now, any of these accessories, if you're planning your bathroom and building it, you need to put blocking in the wall behind the drywall. So that's something to know beforehand right. if you are so doing you, your bathroom from you scratch. You should figure out with your contractor before he puts the drywall on any place you're going to put a towel bar, any place you're going to put your toilet holder, mm. your so that you actually just put plywood behind there and then the kids won't rip them off the wall. Got it. Or your drunken friends are actually really bad. That, that happens. Too, so, mm -hmm. so, and you uh, don't want that happening. So I have to say that we actually have kind of abandoned the towel bar. The whole concept of having like the towels in your powder room with the extra towels in front that then everyone's scared to use so yes. you don't really know what so then you're flipping your hands in the sink and wiping <laughs> them like, on your pants and then, and then you're embarrassed because you've gone out of the bathroom and you haven't used the towel anyway so then they think I you know, haven't washed like your you hands. I know that's like you can wash your hands, what's so, going on, do I so make it dirty or not? So we're all about hooks. Okay. And you can put the hooks on the end of your vanity where they're kind of hidden. Right. And hooks actually look great when you just are very relaxed about your towel. Yeah. So you just are hooking your towel over top of it and letting it flow in kind of a folded fashion. And you could have a row of towels all down a wall then people can actually grab them and use them. Do they feel and they feel more comfortable using them just because it feels like a more casual layout? It's not yes, like a I mean, crisply the, folded it, thing exactly, on a bar. Exactly. And it looks good from a design perspective. Exactly. Having and them lined we're, up. we're using them in bedrooms, we're using them in bathrooms. Uh -huh. The double hook, so that you get your bath towel on the top and something out your robe underneath. That's great. So these are all from Gingers. Okay. They have some stunning freestanding pieces too. So if you're using, you, you already have a bathroom that you need to modernize. Yeah. This freestanding toilet paper with a towel oh, that's nice. brush, the towel holder. Lovely. And then Moen has come up with some really ingenious mid-range priced uh, accessories. I love this one. If you've got a bathroom that you're just trying to save space in, mm -hmm. a blow dryer holder. Smart. How smart is that? Doesn't Everybody that has gorgeous? a blow dryer. You want to keep it plugged in. Yeah. You know, this is maybe not in your powder room. This is in your bathroom. For sure. You throw your blow dryer in there and you know where it is. Because it's so clunky and you know, you shove it underneath the vanity on a shelf. It doesn't fit properly. The cords everywhere. That makes a lot of sense. So Moen's come up with a very ingenious um, toilet paper holder too. Oh, that's too. cool. So you 
just flip it up, put your roll on, flip it back down. That's so easy. Um, beautiful lighting. Yeah, love uh, this. Really lovely quality chrome. Yeah. And they just have a lot more design integrity than a lot of the things that you get just from uh, standard home hardware. Okay, how um, about these? So you feel like you're in a uh Well, a I, I think that's really ingenious. This is so cool. you you know that you don't have a shampoo niche. You can't actually blow a hole in your wall. Yeah. So at least instead of having your shampoo on the floor, you put your shampoo and conditioner in these. You bolt it in through the tile, yeah. and then you know you can always put a little sticker on them if you want to say what brand it is or whatever. Or just fill but... them up. Go to the hotels, get all the free little samples. <laughs> fill that sucker right up to the top. Okay, that might take you a while. <laughs> Um, you know, corner shelves in your yep. uh, in your shower as well, so that you get your soap or your shampoos sitting on oh, this nice. with a little towel below. Yeah. Um, so very practical. Um, Beautiful looking, practical. Right. But, but not necessarily just going and buying things that like Velcro to your walls. Yeah. The, this is planning it out a little bit more and figuring out where your accessories should be that they're going to be most ergonomic and also really used. Like having your towel bar behind you on this wall where you have to step across and drip water all yes. across your bathroom isn't very practical. Yeah. So having it on a hook at the end of your vanity makes eminently more sense. Right, okay, so it just takes a little bit of planning, right Eric? Nice stuff.